Let's talk about the CBC now, where taxpayers will be paying uh, quite the sum of money. And now a decision just came down from the CRTC today with taxpayers uh, getting set to pay more for CBC programming for at least the next five years. This is after the Canada, Canadian Radio and Television Commission renewed the broadcaster's French and English mandatory carriage license. The renewal ensures the CBC will continue operations in radio and television broadcasting. Casting. Let's get more on this breaking news development from our very own Brian Lilly, who's getting set to do his own show tonight. But this is yep. a huge decision, Brian, coming from the CRTC, and, and especially the most when part, we're fighting for mandatory carriage, too. And that's why we view this as a positive decision. There's a lot going on in this decision, everything from them allowing uh, Radio 2 to sell advertising, their general licenses being renewed, uh, changes to how certain channels operate. But within the decision is the CRTC saying either English or French CBC News Networks will be offered for every Canadian cable or satellite subscriber. So it's not exactly taxpayers, Anita, but taxpayers you know, generally have cable bills or satellite yeah. bills as well. So in addition to the $1.1 billion annually that CBC gets from taxpayers, every home will be paying either 10 or 15 cents per month through their cable or satellite bill for one of the two CBC news channels, either CBC News Network or its French counterpart, RDI. So what, tell us now, in addition to all of that, uh, the mandatory carriage issue, they're also given another uh, major change as well, right? This is sure to anger fans, competitors, taxpayers, the whole kit and caboodle. This is uh, with respect to radio. They, yeah, that's right. This is the radio question. So yeah. CBC Radio 2, which is their music channel, it used to mainly be classical music with a bit of jazz. They've mixed it up quite a bit over the last few years, trying to figure out what their audience wants and angering their audience at the same time. Well, now that audience is going to be angry because they're going to hear, oh, heaven forbid, awful commercials in the middle of their radio day. So that's the, the fan base of CBC will be anchored by that. On the other side, they're competitors in private radio. There are hundreds of private radio stations across Canada serving cities and towns big and small. Well, they will now have to compete with their taxpayer-funded competitor, just like in TV. These companies already pay income taxes on, on, on their corporate tax side, uh, their employees pay income taxes, and then those taxes are used to fund their competitors. So that's going to uh, uh, upset that side of the, uh, the Canadian broadcast system, and that's another bit. Just another quick part on, on the News World and uh, RDI uh, yeah. section, Anita, and that is that when these channels were started 25 years ago, CBC said, well, they're not going to be subsidized by taxpayers. They will not. They will be separate books. Uh, News World will be News World, as it was called back then. And, and we won't cross-subsidize using taxpayers' money. That's no longer the case. Interesting. In the decision today, C the CRTC said we will get rid of that section of the license. And so now they can fully integrate they don't have to pretend that they're anything but fully integrated. They can cross-subsidize all they want, and they continue to get this, uh, this special uh, mandatory carriage. But we do hope that that is a positive sign for Sun News. And, and I was, that's, a, that's <coughs> the question I was just going to ask you about right there, the fact that, because you alluded to it off the top of your uh, discussion there, this, it, this could be a positive step for <coughs> Sun News because, yeah. as we know, as the whole country knows, we are up in front of the CRTC. We just wrapped up our hearings. We're awaiting a decision from the CRTC with respect to mandatory carriage. That's right. And so we've put in our application. It's very similar. Yeah. It's for the same thing. It's called a, the technical term is a 91H distribution order. Very technical. It means nothing to anyone outside of the cable or satellite business. But we want the same treatment. We want to be on, on everyone's cable package. Well, it would be very strange for the CRTC to say, yes, well, CBC's news channels have to be carried, but not Sun News. So we are going to be keeping a close eye on this. We hope this bodes well for us. I was speaking with Corey tonight, the, the vice president of Sun News. Well, what's and, he saying? And he, well, he says this, this is consistent with what we've asked for. We view it in a positive way. And, and he added that, in his view, every Canadian all-news channel should be available in every Canadian home. All right, it's rock and roll. Let's see what happens here, right, Brian? I hope so. Okay, I know you'll be talking about it tonight on your show, right? 
Yeah, absolutely. That and more. The, the CBC accountability stuff, we'll have more on all that as well. Tonight okay, quickly give us a tease on that. Quickly give us a tease on that. The, it's the, an the, internal the fight among the Conservatives yeah. uh, with uh, backbench MP trying to open up CBC and uh, to, to more accountability and the federal public service in general and the Justice Minister saying, no, we're going to make changes to the bill and uh, enforce them through. So we'll see uh, how this fight ends. Yeah, and Prime Minister Harper uh, probably fielding questions in about two hours' time, so that should be interesting too. A lot Absolutely. happening in your neck of the woods in Ottawa. Thanks, Brian. Always busy. Bye. Okay, that, of course, is Brian Lilly of Byline. And, of course, it's your Air Canada cross-country check-in.